folks, this is Rusty Warden with Rocker Down Studios, and today I've got another quick hit for you. Uh, what we're doing, we're creating a series of videos, uh, uh, and each video is a lot of graphics, a lot of animation, a lot of effects, so obviously After Effects is the best choice for that. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do it. So I've got this audio clip in here in my, my sequence. Um, I do have a completed one over here that we're going to jump to in a second, but I just want to share with you how I do it and what I'm doing. Um, again, the, the audio track is here in the uh, audio layer, and I'm basically basically just going to play the music and tap my finger uh, to the beat of the music. Now, I've got my audio turned down really low here, so it doesn't really annoy you all, but um, so I'm gonna, right for this one, I'm going to pretend that I'm actually doing it to the beat of the music, but I'm just going to press the M key, and as you can see at the bottom of your screen, it's adding markers literally on the audio clip itself. Now, if the audio isn't selected and I press M, the audio or the marker goes into the actual sequence. So anything you have selected and you're pressing the M key, it's going to add a marker to whatever selected. Uh, if nothing is selected in the sequence, your sequence is still selected, so therefore it's going to add the markers there. Um, once the markers are in there, um, you can actually right click on this and you cannot replace it with an After Effects composition. Why is that? Because there's no video. So I need to come over here to my little black video and drag that in here. I'm just going to make this the length of the music. Now that that's in there, I can actually right click on this and then send it, uh, uh, replace it with an After Effects composition. So it is now replaced. And as you can see, here's my audio track at the bottom. It's got my black video at the tippy top, and then I've got my markers uh, inside of the. Um, inside of the, the, we're actually on there. So you can see it. So as you're creating animations, you can say, oh, I need to have one begin here and end here. That way it's synced up to the actual music. Um, anyway, this is Rusty Warden with Rocker Down Studios. I hope that was incredibly helpful. Like I said, this is how we do it. This is how I can visually see where to start and stop my animations when creating animations that are designed to be synced to the music.